Okay, so here's what we need to talk about now. We need to talk about the concept that when you do a zero guard buzz cut, you are rebranding your image. You are reinventing yourself. That's what you're doing with a zero guard buzz cut. It does that in a way that really no other hairstyle can do as far as a short hairstyle uh, can do. And uh, so I'm coming to terms with that. It's been nearly a month of this rebranded image. You know, I've been around people I haven't seen in a while. And it's not like I'm going around saying, hey, you haven't seen me in a while. I got rid of my hair. Did you notice? No, I don't mention it. I don't talk about it. Neither do I, neither do they. You know, that's, that's the thing. It's just who I am. I look different now than a month and a half ago or whatever it was when I was on the TV show on uh, this time next year when I had all my hair, you know. Uh, I've rebranded myself. I feel better this way. I couldn't, they wouldn't let me cut my hair. It was in my contract that I couldn't change my appearance. So I had to look that way for like a year and a half of my life. And so I'm just so happy to have this rebranded image, this way I've reinvented myself. And in essence, it's not that I've changed my identity, but it's just that I've enhanced my identity that really matches who I am on the inside. I feel so much more ma masculine. I feel I feel that like what you see on the outside matches the confidence that I've got inside here. Um, I want to share this with you. And I say this in no form of a tease, but I uh, currently am a candidate to be on TV again. And I think it's important you hear this story because as you know, when I was on this time next year on the Lifetime Network, it was because I looked like a guy on a suit package. I had to meet my doppelganger who had kind of that Beatles mop head, you know, mop top hairstyle. And so I had to look like him for the whole year that we were shooting the show. Well, that's over with. So, and that's what inspired me to buzz off all my hair. I, I wanted to uh, cut my ties with that identity for a while, you know? And what's funny is I was on an email list because I was on that show in Lifetime. And now a separate network uh, is reaching out to me. I'm being considered for an infomercial uh, for this device that uh, makes cooking more convenient. Now that's all I'm going to tell you about for, about it for now because I don't really know how much legally I can tell you. I'll always tell you what, as much as I can. But anyway, so in this process, I sent them links to my recent videos. I sent they they needed pictures of what I look like, and even then they said you're being considered for this, and, and I had to fill out the application. It says, will you agree not to significantly change your appearance over the next several months as this if you're chosen as this is shot because I think it's going to be shot somewhere time in June, July, August. Uh, the infomercial if I'm chosen. So what's interesting is I've made it through like the first round or two. I'm uh, basically in the third round. Now the producers of the network are deciding out of everyone that they've kind of collected is this Nick Shell guy someone we should definitely choose to help sell this product in an infomercial. And see, here's what I love about it. I know Robert doesn't really get much involved in the comments anymore, but a conversation that Robert, uh, who's one of my subscribers, used to say before is he said it's much easier if a man has a full head of hair to be on TV and to be a TV personality or an actor. And I feel that already I just love the fact that I'm being considered to be on an infomercial as a guy with a zero guard buzz cut and beard scruff. Because that's the opposite of Ryan Seacrest. That's the opposite of Ton Bergeron and all these men with perfect smiles and perfect heads of hair. I'm going to be the antithesis of that. I will be the opposite of that if I am chosen. And I just love it because it shows my personality is what it's selling. As far as the looks, I don't have to look a certain way like you think that you're supposed to look like if you're on TV. I can choose to be zero guard buzz cut and beard scruff. And if I'm chosen, they know that. And perhaps that's part of the reason they are choosing me. Why? Because you know, I'm not here to be the best looking guy. I'm here to be perhaps the best looking version I can look and the most masculine version of, of that I can look. But I just love that, that we can see how already things are changing, even on TV. You don't have to have this perfect head of hair. I am being considered as a guy, zero guard buzz cut and beard scruff. You know, decades ago that might not have seemed professional. I might have looked like a thug, right? No, they're, they, if they choose me, now it's going to be the opposite issue as I had for a year and a half where I, I had to have all that hair. Now it'll be for the next couple months, I can't change my appearance. I can't grow out my hair 
more than a number one guard. And I really can't be perfectly clean shaven. That's the image that they would want me to commit to if they indeed, if they indeed choose me. So the application has been submitted. It's going to the producers. It could still be, you know, a couple months before they make a final decision. But if so, I'm gonna be flying out to Los Angeles again, this time to uh, be a spokesman and uh, help sell a product in the form of an infomercial. And I gotta say, I have always wanted, since high school, I've always wanted to be uh, on an infomercial. I, I think it's just such a fun concept that you get to be the personality of this product that people are going to buy that's gonna make their lives more convenient. I just have always romanticized the idea of being on an infomercial and now I'm being considered for it. And not only am I being considered for it, I'm being considered for it with my reinvented look. There's a Red Hot Chili Pepper song where they say something like, pardon me while, while I reinvent myself. And uh, that's how I feel. I have successfully reinvented my image and myself, the way I'm perceived, and the world actually is receiving me better than they did before. You know? Sure, it takes a little bit of getting used to for, for certain people, but it's like now even my wife, like, she, a day later, she's like, oh, you, you buzzed your hair again, didn't you? But that was a response, you know, because she, she was more about having the number one or number two guard, and she wasn't totally keen on the zero at first. But hey, it's been like a month. She's gotten used to it. If anything, she said, when I was kissing her this morning as she went to work, she said, man, you, that hurts. You need to shave, which I will because this is about as much beer as I like, and, and I like the concept of growing out scruff throughout the week. All right, so there you go. A zero guard buzz cut definitely means that you reinvent yourself, that you rebrand your image. And we're already seeing, within less than a month's time, we're already seeing that this is a good thing for me. I am being considered to be on an infomercial. And, and think about Nick Shell, the real human being. Nick Shell, the real human being. You know, this YouTube personality that you see, is this really who I am? Yeah, it is. It's my personality through a certain screen where if you were around me in real life, I wouldn't be talking about hair loss. I don't talk about it in real life. But I become the personality to sell that product. Now when I say that, my heart beats for helping other people and serving other people and helping other people get through dealing with hair loss. But can you understand and imagine, to some degree, this whole channel is built around the concept of really, I'm, I'm, I'm a guy doing an infomercial. What, what's the product I'm selling? I'm selling the product of confidence in overcoming your hair loss. And people are buying it. Why? Because it's a good product and it's helping people. What's, by default, people are freaking out about their hair and their confidence is going down. I am helping people and I'm being told this on a daily basis. So if I'm being vulnerably honest with you, you should consider me, this Nick Shell guy is really good at like, being on infomercials, that's what he's doing. I have another channel, Family Friendly Daddy Blog. I mainly talk about perceptions of race and ethnicity and DNA test results, things like that. And I'm good at it because people are subscribing quickly and they're responding so much. So perhaps also one of the takeaways of this is, imagine how much more your own personality and confidence overrides your image anyway. But I think it's important that you find the image that's going to match Maybe not even the confidence that you have now, but where you want to be. Just like the saying goes, uh, when, you, when you go to work, you know, if you work for a company, you dress not for the role that you have now, but for the role that you want to have. You may be a, 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 an entry level, you know, person, type on the keyboard, data entry, but you're wearing a tie and, and jacket because you want to ultimately ride around on that. It's kind of like that. I think too, and that's part of what's so magical about the Zero Guard buzz cut, is it perhaps propels you to the level of confidence, the physical appearance of confidence that you need to be. And, Nick, and, and people have said recently, and I made that video about it, and I had to censor in the title because YouTube, I don't think, would let me make money if I said the word balls in the title. But so many times people have been saying, Nick, you have the balls to do what I don't have. I, 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 I don't have what it takes. And, and in that video I said, well, it's not a matter of having balls. It's just a matter of just doing it. You know, faking it till you make it.
People don't know the difference between real confidence and fake confidence. If they think that you're confident, then for all practical purposes, you're confident. And that goes back to the theme of this particular video, the concept of reinventing yourself with the zero guard buzz cut and how it hasn't hurt me. I didn't need hair. Oh, well, I needed hair for the other show because I had to look like the guy. But now I get to be whoever I want to be. And Nick Shell gets to be Zero Guard Buzz Cut with the beard. That's who I get to be now. And now producers are being considering me, putting me in front of a camera on a stage with a product to sell it to people. I am reinventing myself. What if you reinvented yourself?